Today, I am reviewing Heartland POS. The pros, the cons, the features, the pricing, and the customer service. And we're doing it right now. How's it going? Dave Allred, The Real Barman here from barpatrol.net and therealbarman.com. So let's jump into it. Okay, I've been trying to get this one done for a while because I've had quite a few requests to review Heartland POS. So now you can shut the hell up forever. Okay, I'm kidding, of course. I love you. All right. For those of you who don't know how these reviews work, uh, I basically use my connections to find a restaurant owner that I know who's using the POS system that I'm reviewing, and I ask them if I can jump on it and get to know it more intimately. Okay, I use it. I see how easy it is to use. I try out all the features. I then ask them, the owners, how they feel about it and get their feedback and their experience, everything that they know about the system. Okay, I go then and get the reactions from other restaurant owners and managers in my community who are also using it as well as online feedback. Okay, and this way we have a complete collaboration of thoughts and opinions, not just mine. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's talk about Heartland POS. All right, they have a POS system for both restaurants and retail, but it wasn't built by restaurant people. And since I'm here to help bar and restaurant people, that's a minus for me right off the bat. Okay, it always makes me feel like they're on the outside looking in. However, at its core, Heartland functions as a simple, easy to use basic POS system. Okay, its user interface is customizable, allows for quick menu changes and order customization on the fly. Did I say all that right? All right, furthermore, its inventory management capabilities ensure that you know when products are running low or need to be restocked. Okay, all that is well and good. However, over the years, Heartland payment systems and its POS systems have been under fire for its incompetence on the security end of things, as well as secretly taking on unauthorized fees to bars and restaurants during the pandemic. Okay, so some ethical issues there, not cool. Okay, case in point, in 2008, Heartland Payment Systems experienced a major data breach that exposed the personal financial information of millions of customers. Okay, then in 2021, just a couple of years ago, multiple restaurants sued Heartland Payment Systems for dramatically increasing their monthly fees without warning or consent. Okay, I mean, some of these restaurants had already closed down because of the pandemic, yet Heartland allegedly increased hidden fees anyway and made millions off of it. Okay, you can see one of the multiple complaints here. You can pause the video if you want to read that. I'm not going to read it to you, but it basically tells you exactly what I just said. Okay, these, compla these complaints are littered on the internet. Okay, so if you can get past who they are as a company and what they've done to their customers, then by all means, let's go ahead and look at the POS system itself. Okay, let's start with who, uh, who Heartland POS is for. Okay, like I said, they do have a POS for retail, but we are a bar and industry channel, so... Let's take a look at who they're for, for our sector. Okay, so they're able to accommodate both larger restaurants as well as independent restaurants. Here are the type of venues that Heartland claims to be able to accommodate. Full, full service restaurants, quick service restaurants, fast food chains, cafes and coffee shops, bars and nightclubs, food trucks and mobile vendors, pizza shops and delivery businesses. Okay, so for ease of use, Heartland gets a rating of good. Okay, it has an intuitive interface that's easy to navigate, and it has a simple layout, and I was able to quickly find the features I needed, okay, which also makes it easier for, easy for restaurant and bar staff to learn how to use a POS system, even if they've never used a restaurant POS system before. Okay, one of the main reasons for the ease of use of Heartland POS is the customizable menu screens. Okay, user, users can create menus that are tailored to their specific needs and their preferences. Okay, this type of menu management allows the staff to quickly find and select items which, of course, speeds up the ordering process. All right, Heartland Features also gets a rating of good. And I wouldn't say that they'll blow you away compared to other POS systems on the market, but they get the job done. Okay, the main features include order and menu management, customizable menu screens, split and transfer checks, table side ordering options via a handheld device, basic inventory tracking, Real-time monitoring, which allows restaurants to monitor their operations from anywhere in real time. Uh, employee management, scheduling capabilities, and a customer loyalty program. Okay, all the basics you need in a good POS system. All right, pros and cons of Heartland POS. First, the pros. As I mentioned, it's easy to use. It's customizable. It's good for all size businesses. It's scalable, so it can grow with you. 
And since the 2008 fiasco, they now actually have very good security. They have to because they got blasted for it. All right, the cons includes the, includes the cost. Okay, it's actually middle of the road compared to other restaurants, but add-ons can get very expensive and what you get for your money can't match some of the other systems out there. So poor bang, bang for the buck, in other words. All right, they have a lengthy contract and early termination fee. So Heartland uh, requires a three-year contract. So you'd better make sure you like it. All right, because terminating the contract before the agreed upon period means you're paying a hefty penalty fee. All right, they have limited uh, third-party integrations. Uh, they have quite a few, but they simply don't offer as many third-party integrations as some of the other competitors. All right, this means that businesses may have to use multiple systems to meet all of their needs. All right, uh, next there's a learning curve. All right, so while the system is user-friendly, there may be a learning curve for businesses that are transitioning from POS system from one to another. So once you learn it, it's okay, but in the beginning it can be tough. There's limited reporting. Uh, Heartland has basic reporting features when it comes to like tracking sales, labor, and menu reports, but it just can't compare to some of the other top POS systems out there. Uh, customer support. Here's where the rubber meets the road. Many users have reported that customer service offered by Heartland POS is abysmal. And I don't need much more description after that. Abysmal is a pretty all-inclusive word that leaves little to the imagination. All right. Uh, compatibility. Uh, the system may not be compatible with certain hardware or software, which can be a limitation for businesses that have already invested in a lot of uh, technology and hardware. All right. Moving on to Heartland pricing. It is fair. All right. And they have three different pricing tiers based on the number of licenses and terminals needed. Now, Heartland... They're one of those POS companies that makes finding uh, pricing on their website like a scavenger hunt. Uh, they want you to call for customer pricing so they can sell you on it instead of providing a simple pricing structure uh, first and going from there. So you can just find it right on, the, right on the website, which I find maddening. I always hate that. All right, but never fear, y'all. I have tracked down the main pricing uh, tiers for you. Uh, so, you know, you're welcome. All right, it starts with the basic plan, which is $39 per month, and that offers basic features such as order management, employee management, and customer loyalty programs. And then you have the standard plan for $69 per month. Uh, it's designed for medium-sized businesses. Uh, the standard plan includes everything in the basic plan, plus inventory tracking, real-time monitoring, and scheduling capabilities. And then finally, there's the premium plan, which is $99 per month. It's designed for large businesses. It offers advanced features such as custom menu screens, table side ordering with a handheld device, and split checks and bills. Okay, and then the extra costs, uh, including uh, in addition to the monthly cost, Heartland Restaurant also charges a one-time setup fee. That usually ranges right on the $299 to $499, depending on the plan selected. Okay, so businesses can choose the pricing plan that's most suitable for their needs, but one of the drawbacks of Heartland POS pricing is that it can be expensive for businesses that require multiple licenses and terminals. Right, and these additional costs can add up quickly, especially for businesses that have a high volume transactions. All right, and then of course, you have the long-term contract to consider. All right, and then finally, we'll finish up with customer service, which gets a rating of poor or abysmal as uh, some customers would say. Uh, they simply can't seem to recover from their poor reputation ever since being blasted for you know charging hidden fees to restaurants unaware. Okay, in addition to restaurant owners complaining about long wait times for support and representatives simply not caring about their needs, so they've said, uh, the technical issues continue to mount. Uh, that includes slow processing times as well as system, system crashes and errors. Uh, this is kind of all over the place. Uh, and all of that sucks. But I'm going to say that the worst part of their customer service comes from the shady practices I talked about and the broken uh, promises and vague definitions of what it is you're getting for your money. All right, this is the pattern for Heartland POS. Uh, it can be found all over the internet as well as with bar and restaurant owners I've spoken with. Uh, with that said, uh, here are the technical customer service aspects uh, Heartland offers just so you have them. Okay, they do offer 24-7 uh, phone support. They have email support. They have support tickets. They have an online, uh, online knowledge base. And they have video tutorials. Okay, so here's my final word. If you're, if you're looking for the best POS system on the market, Heartland Restaurant POS is probably not going to be it. Okay, if you're looking for a POS system to do the job, then you can take a flyer 
Uh, I'm not sure why you would when it's not really cheaper than many of the other restaurant PO systems on the market. Uh, that would be the main reason. Uh, but looking on most of the re review sites for Heartland POS under the category value for the money, they get so many one and two star uh, ratings. It's just scary. All right. However, if you've heard or experienced something different, if you watched a different review, then by all means, go for it. Okay. It's my wish for you that you find the best POS system for you and your business, whatever that may be. Okay. I'm just here to help the best way I know how and just inform you, give you the information, then you go make the decision. Okay, I want to thank you for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. I'm going to see you next time. I'm out.